Good code is short, simple and robust. All you need to do is find a way how to achieve it. Hi, I am Abhinav Gupta and today we will talk about robustness of the code. Generally developers focus on correctness of the code, but it is not mandatory if your code is correct then it is robust too. Correctness means your code will never return inaccurate result. However, robustness means your system will keep operating even if it returns inaccurate result. So robust code handles the failures nicely. Let me tell you seven major points that will help you to write the robust code for your application. Make a command of programming language. Before knowing the programming skills, you need to learn programming language. You need to learn syntax. Of course, every language has different syntax, but if you will learn single programming language, then it is easy to learn new. Descriptive naming convention. We should not use random class name, variable name and function name. We should avoid abbreviations. So this makes sense when you write down the code. But when you visit your code after 10 or 15 days, it is very hard to understand why you have used them. Next, keep your function short. You should not pass too many arguments in the same function. Rather than passing too many arguments, you should pass the object. Also, your function length should not be more than 15 lines. Generally, developers write the entire logic in the same function. But with this, you will not reuse that function and you will lose the concept of function. Also, your function name should be a verb so that any user can understand what your function is doing. Declare the variables to their uses. You should declare the variable where you want to use. Generally, developers declare the variable on the top of the class. But it looks very awkward when someone visit your class and see like first 15 lines have just the variable declaration. So you should declare the variable where you want to use it. Write comments sparingly. Code commenting is very helpful to you and someone who will read your code. But you need to write comments sparingly. It should not distract them from the topic. Read the code of other developers. This is my favorite. There are hundreds of ways to solve a problem, but you know only one or two. For this, you should frequently read the code of other developers so that whenever you will write a code, you have those in your mind and you write the efficient code to solve that problem. Multiple programming languages. Every language has its good things and shortcomings. You should explore many programming language so that you can choose the best programming language to solve your problem. In short, I will suggest you, you should enjoy the process, not the result. If you will enjoy the result, you will write the correct code. However, if you will enjoy the process, you will write the robust and efficient code. That's all folks, see you next time.